So good afternoon guys. Um, basically I bought a Pig Iron Pro Series ND1000 filter, a 10 stop ND filter basically, so I could start doing long exposures um, in the daytime. And um, I did have one, but I've lost it. So i am just bought a new one, but did not want to spend loads of money. So I thought I'd try out this Pig Iron one straight from eBay. Um, it's around about 20 quid. Um, so it's just a case of try it out and see what I thought. Right, so I've got the ND filter on. At the moment, I've got a 20 second exposure quite happily. So it's gonna be plenty of misty sort of look of waters. Like that. <laughs> the waves coming in are brilliant. Probably need a lot less, less exposure actually, but it'd be interesting to see what we got. Yeah, what have we got here? A double exposure going on here. Let me turn it off. Uh, Stabilisation is off. I might have. Uh, let's do a 10 second exposure. Much better. Right, let's go a bit closer because because <coughs> we can. Get those ones. Should we go? For yeah, let's do this. That wave coming is pretty big. Oh, we're going to be pretty safe here. Thereabouts. That's pretty cool. So with these shots here you're going to see, this is just me experimenting. So 30 seconds is way too long. You end up with this very misty, um, sort of ghostly kind of feel. Everything's very sharp, apart from obviously the water kind of disappears. This is a 20 second exposure, um, starting to look a bit more interesting, but still too much movement um, in the water. And you've got, it, it's going to change every time your exposure is slightly different. So again, uh, about 20 seconds exposure. Um, because the light's different to every situation, my settings aren't going to necessarily work as well as yours. That's a six second exposure. Um, you've got some nice splashes and things going on there, which is starting to work out quite nicely and then a five second exposure so i found that was quite good um, to show the the movement as is um, there so that worked quite well it's just experimentation at the end of the day this is the benefit of modern day digitals you know you can piss about and just have fun be creative and um, just make the most of what you've got and just proves the point that these do this uh, pig iron uh, filter actually worked really well and it's not overly expensive and that's on a 60 megapixel full frame uh, sensor as well so worked really well for the money
All right, plan is guys, drag this back into the sea, pretty much. And then hopefully uh, get some good footage of it. It's how heavy this thing is. Pretty heavy. As you can see guys, obviously I drag the uh, log about 100 metres or so down the beach from where it had been actually washed right up the top um, and uh, put it in a position where I could actually utilise it as a foreground interest. So sometimes obviously on the beach it's a big open space, sometimes you haven't got something that you can use in the foreground so if there's anything around that's been washed up just if you can move it, um, pick it up and put it where you want it or put the camera in front and try and utilise that as a, a bit of interest. Um, like I said, it's pretty heavy, uh, probably a hundred and something kilos. Uh, very waterlogged piece of wood, and uh, but it kind of added. It wasn't perfect, and the light was changing so much because the clouds were letting some sun uh, some sunshine through. So every now and again, this this whole area would light up really beautifully, uh, and you'll see that later on in the in the uh, the photos near the end of the video that the colour went from sort of like looking like this, quite dull and flat, to this amazingly lit. Um, sunny sort of warm feeling scenery um, this worked quite well in black and white uh, you can see the foreground down a uh, foreground uh, piece of wood like that and then obviously the cliffs and everything in the distance as you can see there the clouds moving past um, about a 30 second exposure that one and the previous one was uh, a little bit less this one again uh, about 30 seconds because basically it looks like it's kind of floating in sort of mist so they're probably too long really and uh, you know it's just a case of experimentation so I was shooting anywhere between one to two seconds up to 30 but most of it was sort of like uh, three to four was a good good amount of time and uh, yeah so it was just it's just experiment and that's the best thing about having a digital now like um, you know in the old days when you had film you had no idea what you were going to get you got back you know you developed and um, then you sort of had to go back out again because you didn't get it right well hi guys been to pet level again I know it's been well used recently but uh, I was really desperate to get that ND filter in use and um, it's called pig iron is the the make um, nice and cheap not expensive I would say cheap 20 quid um, or thereabouts and just want to try it out and I didn't have the right step down ring for the RX 10 Mark 4 so I've used it on the 24 to 105 um, F4 Sony lens and um, basically it works pretty well to be fair the results I've seen from it so far are uh, pretty good so basically just going to uh, go on the coast a bit further maybe get a few more photos and uh, go from there really to see how it was. It looks pretty sharp, the images coming out of it. So, doing up to a 30 second exposure. And, uh, yeah, so, can't really mind that sort of price. Um, just wanted to see what they were like, really, if they're you know, cheap rubbish, especially if you're using it on a 60 megapixel sensor. Um, you know, was it worth, you know, risking it? You know, just to see what was what, really. Pay for, but in some respects, you don't need to. Oh, anyway, wind swept again as usual. Um, first bit of sunshine we've had for a few, well, I'll say a week or so. Um, but if it has been, it's only been, I don't know, a few hours or maybe for one day, and the rest of it has just been wind, rain, and all that. So it's been very. Um, a little bit annoying really because you just want to get out and I know I went over, over to Dungeness with Lucy which we got yeah beaten on basically by the rain and the wind and the hail and everything else um, but apparently tomorrow we've got some snow so it could be I mean it's not going to settle but this is how sort of weird the weather's been recently been absolutely just rubbish basically um, yeah so not good not good um, but we'll just make the most of what we got, keep shooting, keep taking pictures, 
Um, it's all about staying in practice, if anything. Um, just experimenting. So, you know, if you can get out and it's a bit rubbish, just go and do it. You know, even if you cover your cover your camera with a plastic bag, you know, just to keep it, you know, a bit more watertight than it would be normally. Um, that's worth doing. But uh, we shall see. Oh, these roads. Massive holes. Yeah, so part of the um, bit I was doing down on the beach was I actually, well, you might have hopefully I caught, captured it before the GoPro decided to crash. Um, basically, the, there was a big bit of uh, driftwood. It looked like quite a, a new branch, actually. It didn't look um, uh, old and uh, weathered so much. It was more like a fresh branch that had been washed into the sea. Um, but uh, using that as a foreground focal point, um, and then sort of utilising that, and the sun was coming in and out, in and out. But uh, I think I've got a few K, K shots. Um, it's one of those things you just, you know, just experiment at the end of the day. So this shot here, guys, it, it was starting to get down to the sort of one second exposure uh, sort of timing. And um, it was starting to work quite nicely. And this is how long it takes. You know, you're just messing around doing shorter and shorter or even longer and longer exposures until you get what you really want. And this is the kind of thing I was aiming for. Um, really nice, you know, half a second exposure, one second exposure, two second exposure, depending on how big the wave was, how far it was pulling in and out. So everything was a bit different, so you're just adjusting it all the time. It's not to do with um, having an auto and things like that. It's, it's what you're actually aiming to get. This shot here is really probably my favourite shot because of the way the water was spraying up. Um, this is what I was on about earlier, about the sunshine just coming out and just everything changing completely. It's just light was just transformed it. This shot here is literally just that tree branch but with no filter on at all, so more of just a normal, normal photo just to kind of give you the, the difference of long exposure and normal exposures in good light. Um, and that's the uh, the view back down the uh, the beach there as the sun popped out. Anyway, guys, don't forget to click the subscription button. That'd be amazing. And also the little notification bell so you know when I've uh, uploaded another video. Um, any questions about cameras, photography, anything like that I can possibly help you with, feel free to ask. I'll do my best. Um, and uh, just uh, keep shooting, keep practicing. And uh, just experiment you know that's how I learn I, I never did any courses or anything like that um, read a couple of magazines possibly um, but 98% of it is out actually taking photos you know and uh, with digital today it's very very easy to learn from your mistakes because you can see them instantly rather than doing what we used to have to do and uh, you know take your photos and then develop them and everything and process them and then go ah that was rubbish and then have to go back out and then try again um, but then you know, it might take a week before you do that again so anyway i shall see you soon ciao